Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to this next stream in our Grim Fandango playthrough. We had started this last week, played for uh, about two and a half hours or so, got into the story, kind of gotten some stuff figured out. We're going to continue more of it tonight. <clears throat> so what is up if you are here watching live? Or we're watching after after the fact anywhere else on the interwebs. I thank you so much for stopping by. So like I said, more Grim Fandango tonight. Um, this week's going to be a little bit uh, lacking in stream. Well, not lacking, but uh, we're going to have a stream on Wednesday night, Thursday night, and then Saturday's up in the air. I'm waiting to see what schedule is going to be. So we'll have at least three, possibly four streams this week. We'll see how it all works. But for now, what is up, G Shot? Hello, Knorr of Twitch. What is up? So we're gonna continue right where we left off. It literally loaded the game. Um, I don't want to not exit. Um, I can just go back. So we're literally right where we are. We just had talked to her. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened, but we talked to her, and she's not actually who she says she is. Um, it's kind of wish we could go back and watch that cutscene Because I kind of forget because I was a little tired last week. You know, what? actually I can let me bring up my past uh, My past stream I've got access to all you know, let me pause this. We got access to every single one of my streams right here I don't know why I don't just bring it up and we watch the uh, Interaction with her if my hard drive loads, there we go. <clears throat> Twitch streams, Grim Fandango, stream 704, which this is, is this stream 706? It says up there 706. I've been adding those numbers now for a little while. No, this isn't. Wow, we are behind. Oh, yeah, Terraria we did. And, um, ended up, uh, ended up, where the heck am I looking? Ended up trying to play when I was not connected to the internet and I was able to play offline and then when it came back up, there's 707 up there. And then when I got back online, it corrupted the files. So all that stuff we did in Terraria, uh, the world is there, but my character is not. Unfortunately, that really sucks. So let me bring up the, uh, the past stream here real quick. We'll go ahead and take the music on out here. The sky is up. <laughs> the music here, as always, this is Animusic. Check them out at animusic.com or over on YouTube under Animusic. So let me uh, just add a little... <clears throat> yeah. Well, because the other night when I got home, what was it? Mon um, Saturday night when I got home, our internet was out. And down where, where I'm at in the basement, I get no cell reception. So when I'm down here, I couldn't really do anything. So I wanted to play a game. So I tried playing it and I could play a little bit offline and then it messed up. And now the character is gone, but the world is still there. And I don't know. Um, so let me just do a quick thing here. Display capture. We're going to display capture on uh, number two. Do that just, just gonna do just a quick just a quick little bit of editing here just so we can get caught up with what exactly is going on this is gonna kind of be a little bit of an inception thing here <clears throat> yeah that's all right like I said the world is still there so what we built and dug out and stuff but all the stuff I collected if it wasn't in a chest not there all right so let's bring in this this is last uh, last week's stream of this as you can see um, so we got, we got this going, we had this and then, oh yeah, then we went with him to our next thing. All right. Yeah. See, I was really tired as you could see. So let's, let's take a gander at this and see exactly oh, what happened. God. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse. No. What is up, Fudge Bro? No, but I am here to ease your pain. 
I'm watching last yes, week so I can remember where we left off because, no. as you can see, I was really tired last week. <laughs> That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first class ticket to. nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. But she accidentally killed? Well, I'm forgetting here that... The only implication here is that I'm fired. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. <clears throat> Would you like to see my birthmark? <laughs> okay, Where so... Is Where is it? She it's was wherever you guys put my skin. I had a oh. ticket to nowhere, so she had anything about your past by accident. you haven't told me. Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill my hero alive? Were you big shop Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I this was in an an animal weird. shelter, I... Just stop right here. Fudge, bro! <laughs> Ten pieces of eight. Thank you so much, that is awesome of you. Just wanted to stop by and say, hey, hope you're having a good day. I am. Thank you so much, man. Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Yeah. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Mm -hmm. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. Well, you are dead. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Okay, I'm kind of remembering this now. Later. Oh, Manny. Is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Yeah, well, something. I could do something bad. You right are. Now, if that would you help. are the top Wouldn't donator. Count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no the trouble. one we steal Please, from the guy. Call me Manny. All right, later, brother. Well, yeah, thank you, Fudge. The thank you for coming by. The guy. All right, so let me go ahead and so, I think take that out. Go ahead and take that out and we'll bring the game in there okay so where we left off <clears throat> then she had a ticket she died and got a ticket to nowhere and we were trying to figure out who she is and why she had died so we got to figure this out then so let's do this just kind of bring up game volume a little bit here just so I can test it because I forgot to write down the uh, level here so well, let's talk to her again here I'm still in the case Mitchie but I haven't found anything for you yet maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for she looks fine to me okay can we go to our computer my computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? Can't find anything on her, so she died by accident, Not it seems portable. like. That's what it seems like. <clears throat> so what do we have as far as our inventory still? Do we still have... So we've got that, we've got the weird balloons, we've got the fire extinguisher, we've got the silk deck, deck of cards, and then our scythe. Okay, so we got no empty balloons, we have no filled balloons with that crud. Okay. Let's go talk to uh, our receptionist. Maybe she'll have some info. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny.
Oh. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! Oh, no. You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client <clears throat> from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen Jeez. by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna now take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me. We're in the, uh, the big dudes area. We gotta figure out a way out of this, boys and girls. Turn that down a little bit. All right, so. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Get me. I'm thinking of you. What, what, are, what are they going to do to me? I don't want to alarm you, Agent Calavera, but have you ever seen a man sprout it? No, I don't, like I don't go to those parties anymore. Yes, I think it was during Pledge Week. Yeah, I saw a boxer get a pretty cauliflower ear once. Yeah, I saw this boxer get a pretty bad cauliflower ear once. Then you don't know. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and <clears throat> fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes, leaving you nothing but a patch oh, geez, of wild okay. flowers on the ground swarming with butterflies are you done yes no i've never seen that <laughs> get me out of here i'm thinking about getting out and getting even that's it tell me about the spreading story again <laughs> you cracked funky i'm Think thinking about, getting, about out getting out and getting even that's it the only way out manuel is to be taken back in if you are truly still loyal to this company declare it loudly the management might hear and stick you right back in their fold I got something they can stick in their phone. My loyalty is still to the DOD, believe it or not. The DOD runs a crooked game. I intend to prove it. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Well, no, but I'm angry. I'm going to blow the lid off this place. I'm going to blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. That was easy to get out. Taking me <clears throat> to the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. So there was some other stuff I could have interacted with in there, but oh well. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you? 
Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of Wait, do we know the well, girl there? Is that the... Out of this city like what? My help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, my friend, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Okay, so yeah, I think that's the receptionist. Look at that. Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA only. It's a slide projector. Can't play with it. Manuel, I was looking at that. <laughs> yeah, what's that? <clears throat> it's another one of the machines. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away, but we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. system. Okay. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. Can I do it. This computer shut off. It's my boss's secretary's evil twin. Just yeah. me, honey. Yeah, so it is just her. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Yeah. Well, that's the last time we used that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for Any me? Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already. Again. <laughs> but I'm already. Uh, you gotta get me out of town. You gotta spot me. This corporal wonder where you are. Or Paul. How long have you been a spy? How long you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you, what are you on? working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, yeah. it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. I was gonna say, how many of us are there? Or you guys, so far? I guess I'm not technically a part of the team yet. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Dom and I were both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Get him out of town. You gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was uh, just a power search. We need your teeth, I don't Manny. Know. We can't let you go. Sorry. So, you won't help me out of here. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Achievement, join or die again. Uh why don't you help me out? I need your teeth, remember? Alright, so I take my teeth out. Can I leave? Well, I guess we can join. I mean I wanna I wanna take this place down, right? Open the door, cell. I got places to go. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? Do you know something I don't do you know? know? Something I don't know. Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes, my last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel, especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their uh... just records. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine. Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with tickets? the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect oh, record. I see. So they take them and resell them or something? from those that would buy their way into heaven. Yeah. Money's not important here. But money's just not important out. here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. Uh, what do you want? What do you me? want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. With <clears throat> messengers we can trust. You want me to be a messenger? messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. 
I grabbed some pigeons off the roof. <laughs> Let me go. Oh, now that means Yeah, so that's up on the roof there was a, uh, a if bunch I of grab them. some pigeons off the roof will you let me go no I need to raise them from birth agent Calavera I need you to bring me their eggs it take a long time to get them you're keeping uh, me here because you need the eggs why are you still here Calavera go get me an air force before it hatches now that's all the briefing you need soldier Viva la revolución! achievement yet yeah. have you thought about using me pigeons Manuel Pues, viva la revolución! <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get onto the roof. Which is up here, but I still don't know how to get oh oh wait, this is open. Oh, this is the back entrance to oh nice. So I wonder if he's got something in his little hut back here that we can get so I can swing the stuff over and hook onto the other side of the uh <clears throat> other side of the roof there go back in here hey what did they do with Gladys no well, he wasn't here when we were just here dude so it looks like it dispenses something called philodent ooh ick it came out like soft serve ice cream but judging by the smell I think it's auto body for right, that's gonna come in handy. It stays here. I need to go probably get some more empty balloons from the dude. We get a couple more of the balloons. Then I think we'll probably I don't know. Still going on. Excuse me. All right, need a couple more, uh, a couple more wames, dude. Mike, uh, I have another dead worm. Look, so for. Wait, what? My kid died. Uh, do you have any more dead worms? Look, if I give you any more of those, you'd be able to go in the business for yourself. So forget it. Oh shoot! So now I have to. My kid died. Gee. Can I have it? Did you lose? No. Well then. Okay. I have another. Did no. Well then, do you have any more? Look, if I so. Okay, so we can't get any more My animals. Kid Can I have it? No. Well then, you. Okay, so. Do you have any lost? So. We can't get it. Ah, crap, that stinks. I should have gotten more. So I guess we're gonna have to use what we have. 